Welcome to my Cisco CCNA lab review. Here we're looking at lab 41111, configuring extended ACLs scenario two. I've opened my lab. I've been letting it run for a few minutes, letting everything converge. Again, I have this part of my diagram off my screen. So I won't need to keep scrolling back up and down. So. I'm going to go to part one, configure and, and verify an ACL to satisfy the following policies. So we want SSH traffic from devices on this network is allowed to access that network. ICMP traffic is allowed from any source to any destination. And all other traffic to that network is blocked. Alright, so what do we do? Alright, so first part of that, step one, we want to go ahead and configure a ACL on RTA. I want to make sure I can see my passwords. Should be Cisco. We're doing our console. PA55. Enable. Cisco in AP. All right, so we're going to be doing the last extended list number is 199, we want TCP. Oh, got to get to our global configuration mode, so global config terminal, access list 199, we want to permit TCP. We want things from the 10.101 network. 32 with a wildcard of 15. I've already worked out the math. That's why I'm able to look at that and do my inverses. That would be my source. Next would be my destination. 10.101.117.0 wildcard mask 31 we want that equals to SSH is port 22 all right so one's done next we want to go ahead and access this 99 permit ICMP any any we want to allow so that's good all other traffic to that network is blocked by default there is an implicit deny so we don't have to do anything else all other traffic is denied because of that implicit deny Moving on, step two, we need to apply the uh, item. So we want to go to interface gig 02, IP access group 199. We want to apply it on the outbound. All right, step three, let's go ahead and verify. Ping from PCB. I'm going to scroll back up. We're going to ping PCA. May take a second. All right. Our cover it its IP address and let it work. Next let's ping PCC. Our request will go out. It should resolve the IP address. Alright, there it goes. 
so we're good there. SSH from PCB to SWC. Well, we are on PCB, so let's go ahead and do that. SSH hyphen L admin that should work Cisco TOP you gotta remember the password for that oh admin PA55 all right we're there in the switch let's kill that connection so that one is done ping from PCA to all where are we at ping from PCA to all other IP addresses Ten dot one oh one dot one one seven dot thirty four should take a minute, but it should revolve. Our request should be going out, resolving its IP address. All right, there we go. Let's ping. And you know what? This entire time, it's been totally my bad. I meant to be pinging the uh, computers, not the switches. So PCB is actually 35. And there it goes. So we actually want to go from here, SSH from PCA to switch C. Alright, so we're at SSH. Hi. Nope. No, I want it. SSH hyphen L one oh one dot one one seven dot two. Oh, gotta remember either should be admin. It should uh reject it. But we should be able to do timed out like it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and let's try to uh, go to switch B. Switch B is thirty four. This works because again we have applied it on gig zero two and that's the connection going to switch C, switch B does not have an ACL applied to it. Admin PA55, so we're on switch B. I'm going to exit out. Oh, you know what? It wants us to SSH. It wants us to pivot from switch B to switch C. SSH hyphen L we need it to our enable Cisco in PA55 from here we can actually do our SSH command for one I keep forgetting to put in the user And we can pivot from switch B to switch C, and that will work. All right, so lastly, how was PCA able to bypass the access lists? Well, first PCA uses SSH to access switch B, and switch B has the appropriate permissions, so SSH was allowed to switch C. 
So it's a two-step process. We're pivoting off of switch B. Next question. What could have been done to prevent PCA from accessing switch C indirectly while allowing PCB SSH to access the switch C? Basically, it's because the request was blocked all traffic that implicit deny except for SSH traffic originating from that network. The access list could be written as is instead of applying the ACL to, to outbound we could apply the same ACL to both gig 0, zero and gig zero, 01. This is kind of ACL placement. So let's go ahead and let's verify. Assessment item 100%. If you have any questions about this lab, please let me know. If you have any questions, leave comments below. Thank you.